Christmas for a second. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. I'm here for your July 2019 um, general reading. This is going to be for sun, moon, and rising. Okay, sun, moon, and rising. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. I usually know exactly what sign I'm reading for. You know, sometimes it, but anyway, um, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if it, you're a return subscriber and a return viewer, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, or you can do it at the end of this video. And we're going to go on and get started, okay, for July 2019, Sun, Moon, and Rising for Scorpio. Um, I'm going to go over the uh, overall energies for you that I'm seeing. Um, we're using the Star Child Tarot deck. This is the Awakening card, which is the World card, which just says, you know, you guys are really closing a chapter this month in July, which is perfect. Um there's chapters closing and new chapters opening. And so you guys are open to the chapter closing here um, for the awakening with the seven of wands. You've got the courage to face it head on because I don't think this chapter closing is going to be that easy, but, um, but you're willing to face it and transform. Um, you, you'll be borrowing some of Cancerian energy, trying energy, moving towards it with the chariot. And you're really ready for a passionate new start with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, excuse me, Ace of Wands. Um, you know, you've got the desire, you've got the push. It's just like, you know, you got to do it this month. Um, and I'm not sensing a drastic, complete transformation, which is why we don't see the death card here in your reading yet. But I sense that it's more a transformation of like how you're moving, um, how you're shaking, how you're dealing with people. Um, how you perceive the world, uh, how you move in the world. That's what I'm feeling from you, okay? Um, the energies that I'm feeling. Um, moving right into the reading then, let's get this out of the way. Um, we have the Eight of Crystals to start us off. So lots of hard work, um, really focused on the tasks at hand. Um, greater ability to focus. Uh, some of you may have been slightly scattered the last excuse me, month or two, maybe slight, have been slightly scattered. Oh my gosh. And the high priestess to start and I have the high priestess to end. So this is that this is always significant to me when I get them from the other deck that I use to, and this is the mythic tarot, by the way, that I'm and here's the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is the thing. You're going to have to put work into really listening to your intuition more so than normal. You're going to have to put work into acknowledging your higher self and the guidance that your ancestors, your spirit guides, the angels, the, um, you know, spiritual beings are giving you that you are pulling down yourself out of the ethers. Um, you're going to have this. This is a, a good month to truly embrace your di divinity. I'm saying this with almost all, I think now it's so far, just about everybody. Um, and as far as the Zodiac is concerned, this month with the eclipses, we just got done with the solar eclipse on July 2nd. The partial lunar eclipse will be on July 16th. This is very, and all happening in, in the Cancer Capricornian North-South axis. Um, this is prime energy for acknowledging the divinity within, acknowledging your role, how you can uh, be the master of your life. Um, this is perfect energy for really um not only acknowledging but honoring the divinity and the divine and the abilities and the individual powers the god a goddess within um this is a seed bearing month an empress divine feminine month this isn't divine masculine this is a divine feminine with the can with Cancerians being the mother of the zodiac, we will move into a divine masculine energy in August, and that's when you begin to see true manifestation 
of the seed that you put in the ground now. So it is time to work hard and acknowledge the God and goddess within. Acknowledge the divine feminine high priestess energy. You know, the, the magician is before the divine masculine um, manifestation energy. This is the divine feminine side. She understands and embraces all elements just as well. However, what she does is she holds it within and doesn't try to be a showy show off like the magician. Yeah. So be put the work into yourself this month. Okay. You uh, are bringing to the table queen of swords energy, very um, straightforward to the point yet with some tact. And you're keeping the faith with the higher font, making commitments to certain people that you feel like you can make commitments to, renew commitments to certain people you feel are worthy. Oh, I am so sorry. I deeply apologize. Um, also, it's time for you to speak truth to others as well. And again, this all ties into this high priestess. Live that truth and speak it. Speak it over yourself. Speak it to others. You know, not to so they're ready to lock you up or anything. But you know what I'm saying? Like, live it, be it, and and get rid of people that are not um, helping the cause. You know, you're, um, Pluto, you're in retrograde right now. Um, and you're kind of opposing Saturn, and a Saturn-Neptunian trine. And you'll be in opposition to the lunar eclipse. So it's like disruption right now. And I think that's why you're feeling, you're questioning a little bit of your own divinity because there's so much that's being disrupted, so many secrets being revealed, so much being brought to light. So please just take a moment. And that's why you have to work doubly hard. And here you are right here. You got to work doubly and triply hard on it, tuning into your intuition in its depth, having some Piscean type intuition, a little dreaminess, allow yourself to dream. It's gonna, it's okay, it's good to dream. So allow yourself to dream um, and allow yourself to dream so that you can put the work into it so that it can manifest come August, all right? What's going to be a little bit of a, dif a difficult time for you energetically is serenity, which is temperance um, in this deck, which is patience. Patience could be a problem. It takes patience with the Empress card. Remember I talked about this like seed bearing, right? This divine feminine. It takes patience to for the baby to be ready to be born. It doesn't happen overnight. As much as you want the transformation to happen immediately, it does not happen that way. Not all transformations can happen that way. Some are gradual, not necessarily at a snail's pace, but they're gradual. You really have to pay attention to that fact and acknowledge it and be okay with it. What's going to help you is remaining in Queen of Wands energy. So remain like steadfast and unmovable, remain in, inspired, remain um, like this keeper and as well as the page of ones. Continue to take baby steps towards what it is that you are manifesting. Take baby steps towards the transformative entity that you wish to become. Um, because as you do that, it continues to fuel your fire. As it continues to fuel your fire, it continues to fuel the baby, if you will, right? It continues to give it energy and give it life. You've got to continue to do that. Your faith, the higher font, your faith grows, the love of self grows, the self-esteem grows, all of this grows, and you become more and more in tune with your intuition. And because you become in tune with your intuition, yeah, then when it comes time, when Leo season comes in towards the end of this month, and then definitely in August, you're going to find that you um, are really capable then of manifesting fully that which you've been seeking. 
Now, as outcome or advice, two cards came, and I want to acknowledge them both, and we'll read them both. The High Priestess and the Six of Wands. I, I don't see how, how more plain that could be, right? You must take, um, as you follow your intuition, as you manifest this time, not just simply physical transformation, but as you manifest spiritual transformation within, you're going to be, you're going to find greater and greater victory and it'll become easier and easier. Yep. With this ace of wands, the new start is going to become, you know, new business promotion, you know, new direction. Oh my gosh. And the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands and the ace. Of we can't ask for more aces. I, I mean, honestly, your end of this month, by the end of this month, it's going to be so tremendous. And with the judgment card, you know, I always look at that as life purpose card. You're going to be so moved and so in position to really, um, bring to the fore your uh life purpose spiritually in a metaphysical way in a metaphysical way so that in the physical it all becomes so much easier i can't even begin to express to you how much easier it is when you get the spiritual game down how the physical just follows as above so below it doesn't have any choice there's no choice but to but for anything to manifest that you, th that you think, right? There's no choice, but for it to manifest. So, um, stay the course, keep the faith. Don't, don't get too hard on yourself that changes aren't happening immediately. They can't. This time, Scorpio, it needs to marinate. This time, Scorpio, it needs to rest. This time, Scorpio, you need to trust spirit that this is exactly the way it's supposed to go. All right, guys, thank you so very much for being with me, Scorpio. That's your message this month. At the very end, please just continue to watch for a couple seconds. I've got a quick spot about our tarot classes that are starting July the 20th. Registration is open, so please register immediately, okay? Um, they're just $297. Um, it's a five-week interactive course. Fabulous. If you wish to work with me, all the information is down below in the description box. Please do consider liking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell. Leave me a comment. Uh, we'll be doing another giveaway this month. I'm not quite sure what that giveaway is going to be yet. So we'll figure that out as we go along, okay? Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. I must say, bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.